Ladies and gentlemen, guys and gals, welcome to Pharaoh Cleopatra and this epic, epic mission of Kadesh, where I thought for a long time that it was practically impossible on very hard. And you can see we are playing on very hard right now. And what happens is the military invades in pretty much a year and it just wrecks your military. Now, I do want to shout out to Slingshot, who, uh, because there was no video on YouTube of this mission being beat on very hard. And it's just, you know, you'll see on very hard, military and pharaoh wrecks you. And you can't even build towers or anything on this. And Slingshot made the first video, as, as far as I know, on YouTube of beating this mission legit on very hard. But... I'm gonna beat it in a slightly less legit way on Very Hard. I'm gonna do the coward's way. For those of you who are familiar with this map, probably already know what I'm gonna be doing. Uh, but you can see, this was my first attempt of trying to make money, train up an army. I've tried running around, tactics, kiting, and, and all of that stuff. And you can see here, we just get absolutely wrecked if I, you know, I've tried all sorts of things. I can't even beat it on hard, and we just get absolutely destroyed. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to restart this map in a way that actually saves my inherited troops from the previous map, even though I'm not gonna use it, most likely. I'm just gonna destroy my city, and we get defeat. And this allows me to replay the mission. So, I'm gonna go ahead and replay the mission right now. The land of Amura, close by the Levantine coast, trembles beneath the hoof and foot of your mighty legions, blessed Pharaoh. This region may be blessed with rare gems, but it is also rich with discord. Armed Hittites, led by the wretched king Mutwatali, once again seek to contest control of this land rightfully ours. Captured spies speak of how his hostile bands are still far off to the north and thus pose no threat. But is this to be believed? Wise is the warrior who does not drop his shield in battle. To quell such rumors of insurrection, you, our most revered pharaoh, Ramses II, son of Ra, have arrived at the fortress town of Kadesh. Already camps of two of your field charioteer companies have been established on its outskirts. But these are not all. At your immediate disposal are other veteran troops, namely the experienced troops so recently engaged near Sumur. But take heed. It might be advisable to delay deployment of these valuable assets until the need of them is most obvious. For wise also is the warrior who has a bevy of trusted troops to summon at the height of battle. Once the miserable foe has been vanquished, it will be necessary to revive the stagnant economy of Kadesh so that it too will contribute to the glory of Egypt. Collect valuable gems and hire skilled jewelers to fabricate exquisite goods for Pharaoh's loyal subjects. Luxury items of such rare beauty will surely be in much demand. And there you go, that's the intro to Kadesh, the Battle of Kadesh. The goals are very low, population 1,800, kingdom rating of 50, prosperity of 20. Kingdom is sort of what holds you back from just rush winning this map. But let's go ahead and go to the city. And uh, let's slow the game down. We start with 500 residences. I'm gonna slow it down, pause the game. Now, I said that I'm gonna be beating this the coward's way. The coward's way. And I didn't get any free troops. That is true. Apparently I didn't keep the free troops. Uh, so it's fine, it's fine. I'm not gonna be using troops. I'm, I'm just not. Uh, so this is what we're gonna do. Now, again, if you want to see how to actually beat the enemy troops, um, do check out linked below. I will link to Slingshot's video. Now, water crossing, bridge. I'm going to build a bridge. I'm going to clear these trees off of this little island. I'm going to build a lovely little block on this island right here. Maybe not that big. I'm gonna have to go along the edge of the map here a little bit. 
and do a sort of decent sized block like that. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Um, and just so I actually do get some things going, I'm going to extend this road out to here. I'm going to chop down some of these trees here. And I'm actually going to have this road continue down to here. And I'm going to clear off some space here. So that I can... do that. Which I will be eventually using, I think. Okay. Uh, now, I'm going to build some houses on this side of the road. And I probably do need some houses there as well. That looks good. I will need the essentials of Firehouse, Architect's Post, Police Station, Apothecary, Water Supply, a Physician, A Temple to Ra, which I think is our patron god? Yes. A Temple to Osiris. Is there an efficient spot for this? No, it's just gonna have to go there. I will have some more houses here. That should be enough houses. Um, is that everything? I think that's everything. Just to make sure the gods do remain happy, I will put a shrine to Osiris and a shrine to Ra. Now. Over on this side, I'm going to get rid of the granary, that storage yard, these bazaars. I'm going to clear off these farms and this whole area here. I don't need any of that. And I'm going to clear off a bunch of these houses to try and kick them up that way. That will speed up our... Uh, things there. And also, I'm going to build a firehouse, an architect's post, a police station, a physician, and an apothecary up this side for that house, but on this side of the river. And... We don't have a lot of money left, but I'm going to need a storage yard set to accepting half gems and half luxury goods. And let's wait for some people to move in here. I will also need... Some room for jewelers. What's blocking that? Okay. I'm going to need some jewelers. That house has moved in, so I'm going to put down two gemstone mines. just to get this started. And I will roadblock right here, just to keep these as efficient as possible. And now I need all of this to move in. Unemployment of 43%, so I can now pretty much kill this area. It's expensive to do this, but... <clears throat> now, let me just check what my options for trade here are food, wood, luxury goods, wood, wood. I can set this to holding a little bit of wood. Oh no, I can't produce wood, so that's fine. So 
None of that. We've only got gems and luxury goods for sale, I think. Yeah. That's pretty much it. So these people are now moving in. I might have overbuilt houses. But it's okay. I'll let the these structures here continue training um, troops, or chariots, rather. Okay, okay. Come on, we need these houses moving in, finally. Thank you, okay. Why is this... Short by 69 employees. Hmm. Uh, okay, okay, we just have to wait for them to move in. But there we go. Come on. Uh, we should also prioritize things. Uh, infrastructure as one. Um, health and sanitation as two. Religion as three. To make sure the gods don't get unhappy and nothing collapses. And as these people move in, we should be... Oh, I will also drop taxes to zero. Shot by 96 employees. That's a surprising high amount of employees I'm short by. Uh, can I turn off... Industry is off. There we go. That does turn off that industry, right? Yes, yes. Okay, that gets things going a little bit quicker. We ha we still have 800 in the bank. And months to complete, 69 again. Oh, I think the game's trying to tell me something. But, okay. These houses have moved in. More should be moving in as these houses have evolved. Shot by 11 employees. Once I destroy these, I can get rid of these temples. That should... No employment problems. Okay. Then as those people move in, I destroy these houses. Gems are starting to come in. I can now turn on the luxury goods industry. Okay, so we're starting to produce luxury goods. Now the main... The main struggle of this is you have to survive that first invasion, which I showed you at the start of the video. Which is this. Oh great Pharaoh Gamezak, because of their dreams of empire, a Hittite army is eager to invade and will reach your city in one year. Okay, we've got one year. So... I might actually be able to make this a little bit more efficient. If I move this storage yard to here, get rid of that, allow this to hold on to the gems and luxury goods, and that makes room for a bit more industry. <clears throat> A little bit of rearrangement could make this more efficient. For example, if I instead have the houses on this side, if I have two houses there and two houses there, I could destroy this house. That would be better. Okay. Okay. Request of 500 luxury goods in 8 months. We can get that going. We're still short on employees? Short by 24 employees. Huh. I think I need to put down some more houses. This industry took up a bit more than I expected. Can I deprioritize anything? I suppose if I deprioritize health and sanitation, it's not the worst thing. Okay, so I think there are some rescue funds on this map. But the important thing right now is I just need to get all of this gone. I need to get rid of all of this stuff here. These forts are okay. We can leave the forts. 
But we need to get all of this stuff off. Luxury goods starting to come in here. We do have to fulfill the request first. That's going to be two, three... Shouldn't we have one more here? There we go. One more is coming. So that's three, four... Okay. Just trying to get the gemstones going. These houses have moved in, so I can get rid of that house. The less on this side of the river, the better. I'm trying to use up all these chariots we started with, and then I can get rid of this stuff. Six months to comply, okay. I think we can do it. I think we can do it. Two more's coming. We need one more. That's the fifth gemstone. Six months. Yeah, it should be fine. And then we can probably make a little bit of money. Oh. But it's okay. How are the gods feeling, by the way? Apathetic? Okay. Okay. So the important thing is just to not rush this and survive the first invasion at all costs. Now, no employment problems. This is taking up 20 people. That's taking up 10 people. That's 6 people. Yeah. Getting rid of these houses should stabilize things again. Yeah. But I will just put down one more house to make sure we're okay. Okay, people are extremely pleased with me. I will go into debt here. The luxury goods trade is a land trade route. 250 to open it. Yeah. Now, after the first invasion, we can shift our industry over to this side. <clears throat> okay, six months. Be prepared for their arrival. And I think we've almost used up storage yard is empty, so I can get rid of that. Okay. Unemployment, so we can start getting rid of these houses. We will go into debt here, and we'll need to use up some of the rescue funds. We've almost got the 500 luxury goods, so I can send that off and not worry about that. These lions are just hanging out in these fields here. Also, you know, good for them. 6% unemployment. Here's the fifth luxury good. We can dispatch that. And now stock up some luxury goods so that we can actually sell and not go completely bankrupt. That would be important. It might actually be better to build a few more gemstone mines to get things going, but we haven't hit our first debt anniversary yet. Zero weapons stored, so we do actually... that does actually fill up oh, all but one. Okay, well we will be going into debt soon. Just all this has to go. Out of money. There's rescue funds of like a thousand one hundred. There's some luxury goods coming in. That should sell for a decent amount. If I look here, luxury goods, show prices, sellers receive 150 for each one. Okay, that's not so bad. This jeweler... I'm not sure whether it's worth... It's 600 for each gemstone mine. I think I will not put one down yet. Uh, it might be better to start with three gemstone mines. But now that we have some money, I am going to delete all of this. Avoid deleting the roads. I'm, is it worth it destroying the walls? I think I can leave the walls. I think I can leave the walls. Okay, there's nothing there. I don't think they particularly target the walls. So I'm gonna leave the walls. Some luxury goods have come in, so I'm going to open the trade route to Jericho. And I can start exporting all the luxury goods we can. 
We've got quite a few, actually. More than I expected. We've got four in storage right now, three more on the way. We could get a few more gems going. That should actually get us... There we go, this guy. I'll be a hero that should I allow us to survive. Back to my that will allow us to survive. Five luxury goods to sell? That's 150 each. That's quite a nice amount. How's our employment? 19% unemployment. <clears throat> One month, they'll be here. So I just need to try and stockpile as many gemstones as we can. So that when we have to rebuild the gemstone mines, we won't be so much in the hole. Okay. Traders cross the bridge to buy six. That's a good amount. That should keep us afloat. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's nice money. Foreign army invades. Okay, so you saw at this... How am I going to defeat the invasion force? Asks the Whacker. The answer is... I'm not. And... Oh, right. Chickpeas. Um, anyway, the invasion's here. Two invasions show up, and one more will show up in a little bit. Uh, I guess I can accept the chickpeas here. Yeah, just allow chickpeas to come in. We've got 1,500 in the bank. Uh, these troops are going to start marching on over. But you know... Uh, the, the longer I wait, the more gemstones I get, the better it'll be. So let's just wait. Let's just wait. Can we get any more gemstones? 40%? 100%? Okay, we can get one more gemstone going. And those archers are gonna make it here. So I'm now going to... Accept chickpeas. And I'm going to get rid of... The gemstone mines. As soon as that gemstone is deposited... They're going to bust through that gate there. Let's slow the game down. Okay. And I destroy the bridge. Oh, there's people on the bridge. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's people on the bridge. <gasps> Come on, luck. Oh, come on! My cheese failed. Uh, we should have an autosave. Okay. <laughs> There's people on the bridge! Okay, fine. It's fine. We're, we're right here. We're right here. Oh, this is from the invasion? Oh, the autosave was from the invasion. Okay, let's autosave that. Uh, just load back that. I didn't realize it was from so soon. Wait. Clear that off. Roadblock there. Get rid of these two. Okay. Can you guys get off the bridge? Demolish the bridge. Okay. Ah. People are isolated. This fireman, he's gonna have to fend for himself. Okay, bridge is gone. Bridge is gone. Ah. <laughs> the music has appropriately stopped because we're not fighting them. We're not fighting them. Look, they're just gonna wait right there. Kill that fireman. They don't want to kill the fireman. Here comes the chariots. Fireman's gone. And they can all have a lovely look at my city from across the river. We can enjoy the sounds of the Nile. The birds. Foreign army invades. Here comes another invasion. A third invasion. Slingshot says save the game. That's probably a very good idea. So I'm just going to save this under 5D. Hmm. And they're all just going to wait right here. Amnuna Zidanta Pitana. Zidanta, Tudhalia, another Amnuna, and Labarna. They're all just sat right there. Enjoying the view. 
Yep, it's stagnant. These guys don't know what, where to go, so they're just gonna wait right there. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm. They're bombarding your city with rude words. Yeah, they're just gonna look at us. Mm. So you see, resources actually stop moving. No one can accept these because this area is stagnant. That's okay. I can use the rest. And uh, they're just gonna be like, right? Well, we can't cross the river, so we're just gonna go home. Hmm. We can. Oh, they're gonna get that on the way out. Gonna get rid of that roadblock because we will be rebuilding this bridge to continue our gemstone uh, industry here. These guys? They're still there? Okay. Yeah, we just have to wait for them to leave. So, of course, this is the cheesy way of doing it, but it is within the game mechanics, so it's not an exploit. It is still real cheesy. Mm. There is a way to beat them on very hard without doing this, but it takes like hours and it's just really really impossible if you like you have to save every three seconds Microing your units around the map Off they go by had to silly mm. They're still hanging around here, so we're just gonna have to wait a little while longer Lions roaming around. Archers heading on home. Just some chariots now. These guys. They're still waiting there. They got my gatehouses. Why is this wall, like, so messed up? I'm gonna just... There we go. Okay, just a little bit longer. Hubby Bus says, Slingshot's video is painful to watch the micro, but very beautiful. <laughs> uh, yeah, so basically Slingshot has made a video on YouTube which shows he fights this on very hard without carryover troops from the, the mission before. So he does it like legit, uh, which you should totally check out. Uh, because I asked him to make that video so I could watch it. And it's so hard. Even when you know exactly what you should do, you know, it's it's just so hard to pull off. And it, even for him, it took him hours to do it. So it's... Uh, I mean, this game is amazingly unbalanced. Well, we haven't died yet. It's just... Oh, oh. A few more going back. We've just got one more group of chariots there. One more group of chariots there. I can't build the bridge again until this all leaves. It's the fact the mission wasn't tested. Yeah, a lot of Impressions game stuff, they never really tested it. It's like very hard in Caesar 3. It was never really tested properly. Hmm. Nope. Oh, someone's killing some lions? Yep, they killed a lion. Empty land. Ah. Oh. When you click on someone and it just says empty land. <laughs> so those, all the archers are gone. It's now just two forts of charioteers. Which I might actually be able to take if I, you know, target them properly. But, you know, we might as well all in on this cheese. Maybe we can just speed it up a little bit few more left there. That's quite a lot. Oh, that was two forts of charioteers. Oh, lions attacking my troops. Okay. There they go. And I think they're all gone. And it should be safe to rebuild the bridge. Let's slow the game down. Raw material, gemstone mine, bam, bam. I'm gonna go straight into three gemstone mines, I think. Open that roadblock, shift the roadblock to here so that I can fit. I will go into debt for this. Two more jewelers. 
to really get some luxury goods going. We are in debt, quite significantly. Gemstones are expensive. <coughs> Industries continuing. Luxury goods stocking up. We've got five in there now. Traders coming through. It's the trader's life for me. Save the game. We made it through the first invasion on Kadesh on very hard. Did it. Victory is the priority here on the Gamer Zach channel. And uh, we now have 45 months to hit our targets. Now our targets are population 1,800. Kingdom rating, we have no money saved. Prosperity 20. So we need to make sure we hit all requests and get our population up to 1,800. The only source of food is this. So the first thing we got to do is make our money back. So I think there's not much we can do. But put some houses there to stabilize employment of this area. How is our employment? No employment problems. Okay. I think I just speed things along until we get back in the black to reset our debt anniversary. Did a lion come this way? That's annoying. Okay. Get us out of this debt anniversary. Okay. Debt anniversary reset. Let's plan things. First thing. We got all this farmland here. How do I actually want to do this? I can go into debt for this. So currently we have 8% unemployment, which is a good amount to have. Population is about 400 just from this. So we need 1,400 people. <clears throat> Stop worrying about that. It's just, uh, I don't want to risk my kingdom rating. Um, so we get a bunch of farms, bunch of houses. No need to do anything fancy. We should be producing quite a lot of luxury goods. I'm not sure if I'm maxing exports. 2,500. We can always open this trade route to sell more to Timna. We can also start producing more stuff on this side. Okay, let me plan some farms. Pomegranates, we'll probably need a water lift as well. So I'm gonna go. Water, um, water lift, farm, pomegranates. Also, oh, these lions may be a bit of a problem. That should be fine for now. Now, the most fertile land is like here and here. So, I kind of want to go... One, two... One, two... Three, four, five. Okay, I'll go into debt for this. Build a house in this corner. And I, actually, I should just fill this area with houses. Right, I will go into debt for this. Um, irrig uh, irrigation ditch needs to cross over. Like that. That puts me in debt again. And then we just need to boost our population. One, two, three. And evolve some houses. Three, 
1,800 is not too much, but I might need to destroy those forts for desirability. Okay. We're back into 1,000 debt. I don't want to go too much beyond that. But we did just reset our uh, debt anniversary, so we should be able to continue along without too much problem. I just need these people to move in, yes, okay. Let's get our... Firehouse, firehouse, architect's post, architect's post, police station, apothecary. Position. Temples are expensive. Okay, these houses have moved in, so all of this should start functioning. Uh, I will need a granary. What are these again? Pomegranates. Just allow pomegranates to stock up into there. Get a water supply down. City needs more workers, okay. Luxury goods coming in. I probably shouldn't build too much more after this. Hmm. My irrigation does not work? Why not? Needs to come from the back? Really? I guess I have to move this house. Okay. Move that house. These lions. Can I use these chariots to kill all the lions? Uh, I will also need to get rid of that because this has to go around this way. Okay. Okay, irrigation is going. Short by 58 employees, which is affecting industry and commerce. Eh. Charity is trying to wipe out these lions. Okay, more people moving in. Lots of pomegranates come more pomegranates than I thought it would be. This is this is actually really good, isn't it? Do I am I producing way too many pomegranates? Well, let's put down a bazaar. Yeah, it should be good. It forces the bazaar walker to go over that side. Oh, we killed all the lions? Great. Those chariots were useful. Hmm. 30 months left. If I can start evolving these houses, things should be a little bit better. Uh, we just need to get out of debt again. Short by 42 employees. <clears throat> we did get quite a lot of pomegranates from that. These are 10 people each. Is this irrigated? It is irrigated. Okay, the irrigation does actually reach. Okay, squeeze in a few more houses there. Short by 30 employees, not the worst thing. 
We're gonna start feeding these houses. Population 600. Hmm. We need to make quite a bit of money. We haven't maxed our sales or anything. Okay, these houses evolved. Needs local religious facilities, but this should solve our employment problem. 28 months left. Oh. Hmm. I can sell pomegranates? Yeah, but if they come here and buy pomegranates, I worry they won't buy the luxury goods. But then again, it should be okay. Another trader's coming. 1,400. That's a tough one. Last year, your city lost money. Yeah, we won't get our prosperity up. Okay, evolving those houses. Yeah, we just need money. <clears throat> we are gonna get a full trade from this caravan. Which is eight units. Eight times 150. It doesn't get us out of debt. Why can't the... Did I set this to half? No, it's accept all. Does anyone else buy... We can, yes. If I set this to accepting pomegranates. Employees needed, okay. I can open this trade route. It's only 70. And sell any surplus pomegranates. To both trade routes. Debt anniversary, damn! 1,100 gems. Oh no. Can I do this? Perhaps I... Hmm... Perhaps I need to redo this. Let's try that again. I think I went about this the wrong way. So this is right after... Hmm, how do I make more money? I need more money. I think I have to go... ...all out into some things here. Let me try, go severely into debt. By doing this. I wonder, I can just speed through this. Uh, except none, okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And set these guys to go kill the lions. And just prep a block to bring in more people. Okay, let's see if I do this. Can I way overproduce things? I know employees need it. 44? It can't be 44. 52? Really? We're short by 52? No, no, no. No employees live nearby for these guys. Wait, why aren't people moving in? There we go. Okay. Shot by 83. 
we can get rid of that. Shot by 72. If I can start producing, like, an insane amount of luxury goods. And we prioritize that. Hmm. If I just deprioritize... No, it won't work. We're just short on that. Yeah, we need these houses to move in. Okay. Here comes the luxury goods. Uh, and we could open another trade route. Is Timna the cheapest? Yeah. Open that trade route to sell even more luxury goods. Now if I speed it up, Debt anniversary. If I get a debt anniversary, is it possible to win still? There's the 700 luxury goods. Okay. So that allows 27 months left. <clears throat> debt anniversary doesn't affect your prosperity. No, it affects my kingdom rating. <laughs> It's not my prosperity I'm worried about. It's the 50 kingdom rating. Okay. So I'm back in the black, making quite a bit of money. I can... The request is for 700. So basically, to make up for that, I need to do this. That's accepting half-half. Now I need to... Oh, these guys need to return. Uh, now I need to feed this area. Right? And we should be making, like, a ton of money from doing that. Um, to feed this area, things might be a little trickier. Now I got... Perhaps I can skip the irrigation. If I go one, two... Three, four, five. Five farms like that. I actually got unemployment. So let's put an apothecary. Let's put a police station. Let's put... No, let's not do that. I will need to put a physician. Okay. Let's get more houses. Employees needed. Okay, lots of luxury goods coming in. We have six, I need seven. I'm going to need to start stockpiling gems. I'm going to get rid of a couple jewelers. Those far away ones. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, I can now dispatch that. And just export when I have any again. Okay. 26 months remaining. Fulfilling the requests should help, but I don't know if I'm going to need... Uh, 1,100 gems, yeah. I need to make sure I have enough luxury goods. Uh, it should be fine, actually. If I just start stockpiling gems, we should get it with two rounds, because we got six. And a bunch of luxury goods are going to come in here for sale. Okay, so that's going to work. No employment problems still. If I could... Hmm. 
put this here. Allow this to hold that. Have we maxed our exports? No, no, it's a new year. It just turned January. Okay, so we're gonna sell all of that. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We should, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll get out of our debt anniversary from this sale of luxury goods. We have eight, nine gems. I'm going to need to irrigate these farms. That gets them all up to 99% fertile. Four, uh, five farms should get quite a lot. Oh, we have six prosperity. 1,100 gems, we can dispatch that, we can stop stockpiling gems, using and trading. Okay. <clears throat> Start producing luxury goods again. Uh, how's employment? No employment problems. I'm going to need to put a temple here and... Can water lifts collapse? I'm not sure. Maybe another pomegranate farm? Not there. Here. 800 pomegranates. Okay. So we need a storage yard here. Holding pomegranates. Don't accept there right now. When's the harvest season? June? That farmland is irrigated, okay. So we got six farms, we're currently out of debt. All of these jewelers are now functioning again, okay. 21 months remaining. We gotta feed these houses, and I we have 800 pops, so we need another thousand people. Luxury goods will come in soon. New trade route available. Wast has opened. We're in debt. Uh, Wast is... They buy more luxury goods. Okay. But I don't think... I think we're actually producing enough luxury goods and selling enough right now. So it should be okay. Going for the six gemstone mines is definitely better than just now. We've got 20 months remaining. Now, I've been sending off... Uh, ...the gifts and stuff, but I'm not getting any kingdom rating. Do I need to build a dynasty mansion? But that's a thousand, jeez. How do I get the kingdom rating? I don't have any tribute? Have I been ending the year... years in debt? Oh, you're not paying tribute here because of the story element of this mission. But it's been stuck at 19 this whole time. We can dispatch that. We can set this to getting. Dispatch reinforcements. A small force. Okay, well, we can put both of those on kingdom service and dispatch now. I'm not sure if I should try feeding these people. When's the next harvest? November? It should be okay. Uh, you will be providing pomegranates. Mm. 
we can put a temple to Ra. What else do we need here? We'll need some entertainment, like at least a booth. 600 beer. I've never made it this far in this mission. How do I do the beer? Six hundred beer. Hmm. No one even sells barley? Wait, does anyone sell... Menefer sells beer. Straight up. Well, I have to, right? I just have to import the beer. But my kingdom rating is currently stagnant. It is not changing. <coughs> City requests you buy them beer. Yeah, I know. Uh. It takes so long to start feeding people. This bazaar is just not... There we go. Going to grab food. I needed a juggler school. Six months to comply for that beer. City is short. We will be evolving these houses. We have another 1,080 pomegranates in there. I think I set this to get half and allow the rest to stockpile. <coughs> okay, we're evolving these houses. We've made some money, but we've got to import this beer. There's that 600 beer. Can I import to maintain some pottery as well? And then I can dispatch those goods and allow pottery to sit here as well. So that I could provide beer and pottery. Don't import beer and pottery? But I need to get my population up. Alright, you say so. Okay. Don't sell me any then. Okay. Kingdom standing climb for the 800 pomegranates I sent. It's not even half of what it needs to be. It's not even half. Ah. Oh. I mean, maybe I could spam Ra Shrines and try to get a blessing? <laughs> hmm. I'm probably gonna lose by the fact I sped up the game too much trying to clear debt anniversaries. Yeah, but the debt anniversaries is what, you know, wrecked my kingdom rating in the, in the first place. Hmm. <coughs> Yeah, just build a ton of houses and evolve them just before they needed pottery. Yeah, I, I wanted to just import 200 pottery and supply it all in one go to evolve all the houses. You guys said no. Hmm. Heroes return, okay. I 
I mean, we're not making a ton of money. Even with this amount of gemstone production, we're not rolling in cash. So I don't know if I can go less than this. But there's a bunch of cash. So we have one year. Are these mechs evolved? So these can evolve up to here. Rough cottage. Okay. So I can evolve these houses with a bit of desirability. This provides room for 20-something people, a house. So if I count this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 times 20. That's not... That's not enough people. Hmm. I'm currently just hoping that the requests I've sent out... ...will get me the kingdom rating I need. We're still trying to feed all these houses. A thousand lettuce? And what was that? Victory in battle? Okay, we... I guess I can accept lettuce. And shift it into here. Might as well provide lettuce. Okay. Start drawing a salary. I'm not sure if I can. But, you know, I could stick a dynasty mansion down. What is my salary? Can be a hundred deben a month. Okay. I guess that's the best I can do. One thousand people call your city home. High unemployment, really? It's nine percent. Okay. Thing is, I don't have work camps to dump employment into. Let's accept. Kingdom standing climbs. Gift from a neighbor. <laughs> slow progress towards meeting your goal in a timely fashion has reduced your kingdom rating. What slow progress? What slow progress? Ah. Oh.
Hmm. I don't think I can win this. Thirty-five. And the population... ...needing to be that high with that unemployment. And I don't have work camps. What do I dump? What can I dump... ...employment into? Well, there's only nine months left, so at this point, I don't have to think about debt anniversary. If I do that, that might wreck my prosperity. Forts? Forts don't take employment. And they're a thousand each. Really? This bazaar has not provided food to the houses next to it? Oh. Temples aren't that effective. There are only eight people. But also, how do I get another 600 people in here? I can spam some chariot makers. These are 30 people each. Hmm. Right, so at eight months remaining, Trade stops. Short by 11 employees, okay. Overall quality of city's housing is holding it back. There's not enough room for houses to feed this either. Hmm. How do I win this? So Duke says there's no point in trying anymore, you cannot win it. Yeah, but I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to learn. I'm trying to figure it out. Trying helps figure things out. Hmm. So, okay. I'm pretty sure I have to reload to just after the invasion. So there's the issue of money. There's the issue of food and housing. Five farms is not enough. I suppose I just go into maximum... By not worrying about debt anniversary, go all out in exports. That's what I just did just now. I went to 4,500 debt and sold as many luxury goods as I can. And I hit a debt anniversary and I can't hit my kingdom rating. Opening all trade routes. Going that far out. So how many gemstone mines do you think? How many gemstone mines? So we didn't open up Mennefer. Okay, let's open the trade routes first. Otherwise, I won't have the money to open the trade routes in the first place. We are going to be exporting all the luxury goods. Start with 6, expand to 10. Jewelers. And we're going to need a house here. We need a storage yard here to hold the gems and luxury goods. 
and all the jewelers I can. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay. So as soon as I have more money, I gotta place more. Maybe another couple gemstone mines here. Don't speed up the game. Well, I'm just gonna wait until things happen. Okay. I can't build that because I can't even afford the road to go after that. Um... If I play it slowly, I, I can't build anything. If I don't speed it up, we're just gonna wait here, watching me be at minus 5,000. I mean, what, what else are we gonna do but watch? Oh, this could kill the lions. Okay, go kill the lions. No, no, no. Kill that lion. Why can I not kill that lion? Okay. So we're currently short by 92 employees. I'm out of credit to destroy anything. We sold one luxury good. Why can I not kill these lions? I'm supposed to have two forts of chariots here. And I just cannot kill this... How come when I control one... They turn all the way around. <laughs> For some reason, I can't kill these lions this time around. Well, you just sit there then. While you guys try and... Oh, did we get all the lions? So we're still short by 90 employees, which means... All of these jewelers are working at quarter capacity. So this is probably not the best way of doing things either. Well, we're still at 5,000 debt, so I can't build anything. There's my debt anniversary dropping me to the famous 19. Okay, there's a bit more. Build more houses? I'd love to. We just got out of debt. <laughs> uh, now we can build a housing block here. Which does need to be of significant size, I've learned. Now I can build houses. And I'm back into max debt again, so I can't build anything else. water supply to get those houses evolved. Okay, so we have a bit more money now. No employment problems. So I can extend this road out here to fit Another gemstone mine. And another two jewelers. Back into max debt. Do I know what I'm doing to win this mission? Nope. Not at all. City requests goods. So I might as well dispatch it, I guess. Maybe not. Maybe not yet. 
Because we're selling some right now. More jewelers. Okay. No employment problems yet. It is October. What are our trades looking like? 1,000, 1,200, 1,500. So we max men nether. This should be getting us close to maxing things out. Uh, so I am going to just build a firehouse and architect's post on this side to make sure nothing collapses. Because I'm not sure if that's actually getting far enough. Okay, so I think that's pretty much going to be maxing things. Um, employees needed. Fire in the city. Oh, right. There's that gem request. Firehouse. Firehouse. Architect's post. Let's try limit this disaster. Okay. Please put out that fire there. I'm going to need to get rid of that house. Okay. 25 months left on the counter. Eight months, eight months. I think I can dispatch those. <clears throat> So we're producing, I think, enough to max our exports. Eight months on that counter, we don't have to worry about that. I think I can now also put down a Dynasty Mansion. So we at least get two years of gifting. I'm not sure if I can actually... It's 25 months now. I can only send the first lavish gift after two months. Uh, it should still count, I guess. Right, okay. Um, in terms of prosperity and population, I'd want to try evolve all the houses as quickly as possible, right? Before I forget. Let's go apothecary and physician. We're currently short on employees, so... Let's put down some houses there. But if I hit debt anniversary again... Six months to comply for that. If I hit another debt anniversary, I'm gonna... I don't know if I can get out of it, but let's stockpile gems. Hmm. I could send three gifts if there's enough time. Hmm. If I build it earlier. That is true. There's another debt anniversary which wrecks it down to zero. So going all out on trade, I don't think is the solution. Right? I have to reset my debt anniversary. Right? If I just go back to the last autosave. When was the last autosave? Yeah, going all out on trade doesn't make enough money. You see? Once you hit two debt anniversaries, it's impossible. We're now at zero. Hmm. So you could say playing at 10% speed the whole time. I don't see how that would help because if you're in debt, you're in debt. Debt anniversary is a yes or no situation. Hmm. Did I export already before the battle comes? Yes. But anything on this side 
Because there's no rocks on this side of the river, so I can't keep going. Hmm. Build slow and think about things. I'm not sure if there's anything to think about. Um... I just, I thought about it earlier, and going all out on trade like this, I thought it wasn't gonna work, and I was correct, it's not gonna work. You go 5,000 into debt, you can't recover in time, you hit two debt anniversaries. What I need to do is what I did the first time around, but add on the gifting. So I went up to six last time. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Move the storage yard. Accept none there. Accept gems and luxury goods here. I need to get this housing area going. But to keep things cheaper, I'm just going to build a single road. Because I need these houses coming through. And I need to have the Dynasty Mansion from the get-go. And then jewelers. Did it. And then I need to just get out of debt anniversary. Oh, right. Kill the lions. Okay. Are people moving in yet? Okay, people are moving in. We're gonna need firehouse. Architects posts over there. Get another jeweler down. And then we need to just get out of debt anniversary. Because we can't have two in a row. Hmm. Theoretically, you can earn 8,250 a year from exporting 5,500 luxury goods a year. The key is to being disciplined about spending money during that time. Yeah. So I actually have 200 saved up. So I can now set it to zero salary. Short by 28 employees, which is not so great. More people are moving in, okay. Are we? No, no, it's a new year. Short by 11 employees. So I'm not sure if I can... There's that first debt anniversary, which brings us to the famous 20. Why is it not 19? Can boost up another jeweler there. I'm going to need at least one more house there. So now I need to 100% get out of debt anniversary.
cost? 3,000. 3,000 will require 20 luxury goods. So I can't build anything until I get out of debt anniversary. I forgot to send it. When was the last autosave? 36 months. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> I forgot to send the gift. Okay. That's the first debt anniversary. All right, it's at 30. I need to pay myself two months worth. Then turn off my salary. Get rid of that. Short by 14 employees, not so bad. Shot by eight employees. Okay. Thousand six hundred. <coughs> I'm gonna have to open another trade route. I have to open that trade route. Because we're gonna max our sales. Yeah. Okay. It's been eight months since the last gift. I am ready to give another. There's that request of 700 luxury goods, which I might as well give. Because we can only sell another 500 there. It's November. It's probably not worth opening up another trade route now. Eight months for the 1,100 gems. It's January. And this should reset our debt anniversary. So now I can start stockpiling the gems. Okay. Debt anniversary restored. Okay. Thirteen months. I think it's still okay. I think it's still okay. Pay myself another 200. Okay. 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 <coughs> okay. So now with the money, I need to get my population up to 1,800. So I'm going to need to build a pretty hefty block. And we need to... Is that big enough? That's pretty big. And we're going to need... A water lift. I'm going to get rid of that bridge. So that I can put just a house there. And I'm going to need 
And I should actually do this. Firehouse there. Get rid of that. This road will need to do that. And I'm going to need quite a few farms here. So I can now go into debt by placing down a bunch of farms. That house cannot be there. And now I'm wasting a little bit of money here. But we're going to need quite a few farms. Nine farms? Irrigation ditch. Okay. We need that to move in. That will provide access there. Provide access there. These guys need a roadblock here. Employees needed. Yes. Okay, okay. People are gonna start moving in here. 800 pomegranates, six months new trade route, okay. Also, savings 200, 600 gems stored. Time since last gift, two months. Okay, these houses moved in. I'm going to need... This road extending out. Road blocked for now. The road to do that. Or a storage yard right here. Accepting half pomegranates, which I don't know if I'll be able to get in time, but... Okay, farms don't collapse. That house there, a little unfortunate, but it's okay. Do I have enough gems? Short by 100. Okay. Let's get that 100 gems in. Okay. Dispatch that. Stop stockpiling that. Using and trading again, please. Okay. Our current debt is set to February. So I just need to get out of debt by next February. 20 months remaining. Kingdom rating right now is 41. I need to stockpile up a bunch of food to evolve these houses. And then we should be okay. <coughs> hmm. What can I do? Malaria, okay. I forgot those. Apothecary. Physician. Okay, I did build extra houses, but... Let's do that. We can distribute that. Okay, luxury goods coming back in. Distant battle. Kingdom service, dispatch. Okay, it's July. We should have plenty of time to get out of our debt anniversary. We just need a proper round. 600 beer. K 
Kingdom Standing Climbs, 44. It's been six months since the last gift. I'm going to need to import beer. 600 units. Oh, I don't have a trade route for it. August. Yeah, maybe save right here. Okay. Who sells beer? Men Nefer? I'm not sure if I'm even producing enough luxury goods to fulfill that trade route. 900. I'll just open it. I think even if I hit a debt anniversary again, we could be okay. I didn't set it to import the beer. 600 beer. Okay, I just have to make sure I send a gift in time. Seven months. Compliance now possible. Dispatch. Stop importing. Heroes return. Ten months, December. Okay, I think I will actually hit another debt anniversary here. Which is too wrecking. I think I have to forego the beer. As in, be late on the beer. That should actually hit us less. A thief? Oh, I don't have... a police station here. Okay, I still have my savings, yes. Okay. Just don't fulfill the beer at all. They give you 24 months extra, don't they? Right, the mission will be over before the negative effects hit. I don't have to fulfill the beer. Nine months. Heroes return. January. So I send a gift next month in February. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. That costs 45. Oh wait, I don't have to worry about it. I just give it back to the city. It's actually fine. It's actually fine. Okay. The thief stole some savings. 30. Not the worst. Okay, so I have to just go until... Give to city. Ten. Debt anniversary reset. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to need to pay myself here. Because... Ten months. Okay. So the debt anniversary is reset. We're currently at 13 months. So... I now just need to get my population up. <coughs> Excuse me. 
So all of these are irrigated. Thousand six hundred. I'm going to need this in a granary to go back into debt. Shift the pomegranates in there. So if I can reset my debt anniversary now, 11 months. No, I'll set this to zero again. Next month in February, I can send a gift. Okay, we have quite a lot of food there. I think I have to start distributing it. I'm just gonna save one more time. G. Go. Bazaar. Just distributing pomegranates. Okay. <clears throat> if I reach the prosperity goal, just add houses near the entry point with a few months left. It shouldn't drop your prosperity. It might work. It might work. Okay, Egyptian army now victorious. Okay, debt anniversary reset. There's 11 months left. It's February. Kingdom rating 42. I can send a gift. Kingdom rating 52. So it's now just population and prosperity. We will be feeding these people. So now I can go straight into... How do I want... How can I do this? I'm just going to need a booth here. Temple to Ra. Going around here. And I'm going to need like... Two juggler schools. To get those jugglers going. Employees needed, okay. Okay. So I ignore the beer. We're still at 52. Entertainment juggler. Okay, I need to move the juggler school a little bit. There should still be okay. As long as this one walks to the right. 1,000 people now call your city home. Desirability is holding things back. Go into debt for this. Entertainment, juggler. Okay, well that's 100% coverage. Ten months left. This is gonna bring in quite a lot of people, but I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough. <clears throat> this is gonna harvest again in June. April, May, June. Let's try and make sure the juggler's booth doesn't collapse, or burn down, rather. Okay. Nine months left. Desirability is still a problem. I can go into debt for this. Uh, 
trade shuts down. H. Eight months. Another harvest of pomegranates. That's great. High unemployment. Which means chariot makers. High unemployment. No, there are no employment problems. Six months left. percent I can go very much into debt because it's not going to count. Labor shortages. The people are going to keep moving in here. There's a lot of room. Five months. Four hundred people. <laughs> That's all I can do. And I don't even know if... Three months to get 400 people in here and hopefully this doesn't drop our prosperity I mean can people even move in at that speed I mean, all I can do is speed it up and watch. One month left. <laughs> yes! I beat Kadesh on very hard. One month left. <coughs> Let's not press the wrong button here. Let us proceed. The hand of Pharaoh has once again beaten the loathsome Hittites. Great is the rejoicing for our most wise and brave leader, Ramses II. Your splendid victory in this hard-fought battle will surely be recorded forever in the annals of history. Yes, I'm sure that this will be recorded forever in the annals of YouTube history of me very very assuredly beating Kadesh on very hard uh, my final score was minus 758 you know I'm uh, I don't disagree with that but 
That is victory. Victory is victory in a game, and I beat the mission. Uh, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this. I will link below to Slingshot beating uh, this mission uh, more properly, uh, as I did ask him to to make. Uh, I asked them to make um, a proper video, and it is possible. But this is the cheesy way of doing it, and I cheesed it all the way through with a negative score. But anyway, that's going to be it for now. Thank you all so much for joining. Hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next video.